Laramie, Longhorn, and Limited models. Car accident? Choose Jacoby and Myers. Here's the most important thing to know about insurance companies. In their world, they only see two kinds of people. Those with a lawyer and those without one. Those they have to take seriously and those they can take advantage of. Those who make them pay and those who make them rich. So which kind do you want to be? And more importantly, who do you want to be your lawyer? Choose Jacoby and Myers. Justice for you since 1972. Holy moly. The pipes in this house are filled with pinholes. The reason? Corrosion. The result? A leaky mess everywhere. So let's give it a permanent fix. Hi, I'm Pete from Repipe Specialists. If you have leaky pipes or low water pressure, don't let things get worse. Call Repipe Specialists today. We'll expertly and seamlessly repipe your home in just one to two days. Call now to save 20% and take advantage of our special financing and free in-home estimate. Call Repipe Specialists today. Right now at 3, the Orange County judge accused of murdering his wife appears in court. This time on the other side of the bench, we have new details on the case from inside the courtroom. Then, movements in the Hollywood strikes. Writers and the studios are talking again today. Plus, actors react to new developments in their fight. And talk about a repeat offender. Hear from the homeowner who says a bear can't seem to resist dropping by. The NBC4 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Annabelle Sedano. We begin at 3 with that Orange County judge accused of killing his wife. Judge Jeffrey Ferguson walked into court in L.A. this morning with his legal team who claims it was all an accident. The judge pleaded not guilty at today's hearing. NBC4's Alex Rozier was there when the judge arrived and was also in the courtroom. He joins us live with the latest. Alex. Annabelle, you may remember that the judge posted a $1 million bail and he was able to walk in and out of the courthouse today. His first court appearance since police say he murdered his wife. Flanked by attorneys, 72-year-old Judge Jeffrey Ferguson walked into court this morning in downtown Los Angeles. Because no Orange County judge can hear their colleague's case, Ferguson made his not guilty plea in L.A. Yes, sir. Here's his defense attorney, John Barnett. For 40 years, Judge Ferguson has protected and served the citizens of Orange County. We expect when they decide his fate that they will agree this was an accident and nothing more. Anaheim police say on August 3rd, the judge shot and killed his wife, Cheryl, inside their Anaheim Hills home. Court documents say problems started that night when the couple got in an argument at a restaurant and the judge pointed his finger at his wife, mimicking a gun. And when they returned home, that argument continued. And the documents say Cheryl uttered words to the effect of, why don't you point a real gun at me? So Jeffrey then pulled a pistol from his ankle holster and shot his wife once in the chest, killing her while their son was inside the home. She was the glue that held the family together. For the first time today, we heard from Cheryl Ferguson's brother. My sister was a wonderful person, uh, very caring, very selfless. The family is obviously supporting uh, my sister because um, she supported me. Larry Rosen said the family's priority right now is protecting Jeffrey and Cheryl's 22-year-old son. It's a tragedy for me. I, I can't even fathom what he's going through right now. He's, he's probably me times 10. Before Judge Ferguson left the courtroom, he agreed to new bail restrictions, surrendering his passport. He can't leave Southern California. His location will be tracked, and he can't drink alcohol. At one point, he made eye contact with Cheryl's brother. I busted down in tears. Um, this is really This is really hard. Judge, why did he shoot your wife? When he entered and when he left, Judge Ferguson didn't answer any of my questions. Judge, you believe this was an accident? He just kept moving forward as the case against him moves forward too. Now, Judge Ferguson is expected to return to court in late October. If convicted for murder, the 72-year-old faces 40 years to life in prison. Reporting live, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News. All right, thank you very much for that update, Alex. Meantime, it's been one week since the fires in Maui began. And as the recovery effort grows, so does a number of victims from the wildfires. At least 99 are now confirmed dead, with close to 1,000 still missing. 
NBC's Jay Gray has the latest, and during his report, you can scan the QR code on your screen to find ways to help the victims.